Hello, Nikolai Markovich from Echo Lake Technologies, echolaketech.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to send pop-up messages to different users within your app. So for instance, uh, I'm going to do a quick demo here, and I've got two users. I've got uh, jack at test.com, and I've got user one at test.com. So these are made up users for test purposes. And what we want to do here is Jack wants to go and send user one a pop-up message. And uh, this is how he would go about doing it. So user one, and then I've basically got this set up so you can either send custom messages or standard canned messages, if you will. So let's do a custom message. So message one, test. And then down here, I've got this set up so that you can either um, have multiple users send multiple messages at the same time to a single uh, recipient or just a single message uh, to, the, uh, to the recipient. And, and the reason being that I did it both ways is this is a, a bit more of a complicated scenario to set up uh, within Bubble uh, because you, have, um, you can only have one uh, pop-up at a time. So if you had multiple users uh, sending a recipient a pop-up at the same time, then Bubble doesn't handle that too well. So I had to do a little design work for that. And this example here is, is a, a much simpler uh, example where a recipient can only accept one um, pop-up at a time. So let's continue on. Message one test and send message here. And I go over and message one test. And let's do this again. So user one, and I've got some canned messages here. So let's just pick message two. And uh, again, single message to a recipient. And standard message number two. And let me, let me just go and show a different message. So recipient or user one, message three. And there it is, message three. So this is the first of two videos. Uh, the next video I'm going to show you will go through the multiple messages um, to a recipient uh, from different users. Uh, but uh, let's jump into the design here. And basically what we have is um, I've got the user's email again. Uh, if you've watched some of my videos, you know I like to put a little text field in here just so I know which user uh, I'm dealing with for test purposes and so forth. Uh, another text field here just to kind of distinguish uh, or delineate the scenarios that I have here. I've got four different scenarios uh, in this, this demo, and in this video I'm only doing the bottom two here. But uh, let's keep going. Custom message example. So this is where the sender wants to send a custom message, and then in this column, if you will, it's going to be standard message. The next thing I have here is just a simple drop down. Um, it's just a search for users. It's uh, pretty straightforward, nothing too complicated, no constraints in here and so forth. Um, so it's dynamic choices. The default when you set up a, a drop down is static choices. Um, we're using dynamic choices here. <clears throat> so that we can pick the different users options or users available in the database and then current options email you can choose whichever one that you have set up in the database um, I like to go with email uh, just to make it a little easier I guess and moving on so I've got an input field and basically it's a, of type text and I'm just going this is where you would type in your your custom message I do have it uh, max number of 25 you could do a multi input so let me just come down over here uh, where are my inputs okay so I've just chosen input for for this field here you could do a multi line input as well whatever your needs may be for your app and then in this one here, I've got the drop down, another drop down here, but this is for messages. It's static as opposed to dynamic. So basically, I just manually typed in the messages that are uh, in here. Uh, again, these are kind of canned messages, uh, not dynamic messages. I suppose if you wanted to, you could have gone and uh, created a bunch of dynamic messages that were kind of canned, but you would choose them based on the, the drop down here. So there's a lot of different ways that you could go about approaching it. I kind of went the simple way with static choices and just uh, picking the, the messages. 
Um, I'm going to skip this section now. I, again, I'm going to have another video that's going to talk more about the uh, multiple messages going to a single uh, user or a single recipient. Um, so I'll get to that in the next video. But let's just go down here. So we basically have supports messages from a single uh, sender. Um, so with this one, got two buttons here. Um, before I get to the workflows though, let me just go over to the database for users. So the only thing that I needed to do to support this um, in the database is under user. Uh, where is it? Pop up. All right. So in, in this video here, in this example, I've got a pop-up message custom, which is of type text. So this is basically where we take that input field and you can type in whatever text you want up to 25 characters. And then I've also got this other text field for standard. So this is the, the static dropdown where I had message one, message two, and message three. So that's all you need to do on the database to support that. Um, in the next video, when we get to, or when I get to walking through um, the multiple messages, you'll, you'll need to have a pop-up messages, uh, which is a list of pop-up messages. Um, and that's basically this uh, new type here, pop-up message, and all it has in it is a message of type text and a recipient of type user. Uh, but I'm getting ahead of myself. I will be covering that in the next video. So for this video, though, uh, we're only going to you're only going to need a pop-up message for custom and a pop-up message for standard messages. Now let's get back to the design here. Okay. So a simple uh, button here: send text uh, or send message rather. Click on the workflow. And then make change to user. So all we're doing for this one, and again, this is the uh, custom message. So the thing we're going to change is the drop-down user's value. So this is the, the email uh, from the, the drop-down. And this is kind of one of the reasons why I like to use emails, uh, because that's of the type user, and that just makes it a little bit easier for the workflow. And what we have here is the pop-up message uh, custom. So we just looked at the database design. So this is one of the fields, pop-up message custom. And that's going to equal the input custom messages value. So basically, right here, input custom messages value. OK. And then what we do afterwards is reset inputs. So after uh, this workflow is completed and we've made the change to the user, uh, we reset the inputs. And that basically resets all these inputs on here back to their default or empty state, if you, if you will. So that's all that is happening uh, for the sending of the message. Now let's go over and do this button, send message. And you'll see it's, it's similar. So again, drop down user value. And then we have the pop-up message standard. Okay, And basically, we're just taking the drop down standard message value. So let's just come back to the design. Drop down standard message value. And we're assigning that value to pop-up message standard. So And then reset the inputs again. So that's all we're doing for uh, assigning the value of the pop-up message uh, for that recipient, for that user. Now what I want to do is, you'll, you'll notice in this page here, in, the, in this page here, it's, it's the, the, the same view. Um, I just did that for a simplification for, for my demo here. Um, you could have it however you want. And the reason why I say that is because I also have the pop-ups here, and I have multiple pop-ups um, on the same page. Um, you can, again, put the pop-ups on whatever page that you need in, in your app to send these messages. So the first pop-up I have here, let me just kind of open this up, so is for the standard message. And all I have here is I, I've just uh, gone and I've put three text fields on here, standard message one, standard message two, and three. And I've added conditionals to them. And all I've done here is that when the current user, remember this is going to be the recipient um, of the message, when the pop-up message standard is message three, then change this text to bold and change the color um, here. And I've got this message two and message one. Now, in your design, um, 
you can do this in multiple different ways. Um, you could have this so that it's only one text field, and then you, when this event um, or this conditional is, is met, um, you can go and change the, the text field, or you can do a variety of things. You could make, I have one pop-up here. Um, you could make multiple pop-ups, one for each standard message. Uh, there's, it's pretty much limitless at what you can do. Um, I just went kind of a simple route for this demo, and I just changed the colors of the uh, text fields and the boldness of the text fields, depending on the standard message. And then I have a simple uh, close here, hide pop-up. Now, the one thing I do want to show is I do have these um, events here. Uh, do one current user's uh, pop-up standard message is not empty. Okay, and the reason why I do this is so when it's not empty, I want to show that pop-up standard message. Okay. And let me just go down here to show you where you pick that. It's uh, general and do when condition is true. And then instead of just once, do it every time. And this is where I set up that, that condition. I'm just going to delete that and go over here. So when the pop the pop-up message standard is, is not empty. So basically, uh, let me go back here. When Jack sends a message to user one, in user one's field, let me go over here, in, in their uh, pop-up message standards field in the database, when it's not empty, then open this pop-up. And that's basically uh, all it does. And on this one, this is the custom, and I'm getting a little ahead of myself, but it's very similar for the, the custom. I've got this other pop-up here. Um, let me just center custom. So it's a very similar pop-up. And then the workflow for this is when the custom message is not empty, open the custom message pop-up, which is this pop-up here. And basically, I've got this current user pop-up message custom. So it's just going to, it's a simple text field here to print what's in the database uh, for, that, um, for that user. Now, let's see, what else do I have on here? So these, I'm not going to walk through these two steps here. These are actually for uh, when we have multiple uh, senders uh, sending messages to a single recipient. So that will be in the next video. And that is basically all you need to do to set this up. So again, you, have, you choose a user. You can either do a custom message or you can do a standard canned message. And then you go, you send the message to the recipient based on the drop-down value here and whatever you chose, custom or a standard message. And then the workflow, when this changes, when this state changes, when it's not empty, then go and open up the pop-up. Now let's just kind of quickly go through uh, this example again so you can see. So this one, this user here is Jack Test. And this is user one. And so user one, hello, user one, and then send message and see how it resets here. And I come over here, hello, user one. And then I close that, user one. I'm gonna pick a message two here, send it. And message to a changed color and it makes it bold. Similarly, here I could go to, let's see, his name was Jack. Hey, Jack, send. Hey, Jack. So, this is a quick demo to show you how you can send uh, pop up messages to different users um, in, in your app. Uh, this can be kind of a nice way to do notifications or to remind people if there's uh, something that they need to be uh, focused on or working on. Uh, so this is just a, a nice little demo to show you how you can do that with pop-ups. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I do appreciate them. Again, I do have a second part to this um, video series, if you will. And then I'm going to show you how this, we have multiple uh, users sending multiple messages to a recipient. 
Um, so check that out. And if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, uh, then you will get notified uh, from uh, YouTube that the video is available. If you have any questions or comments, certainly uh, leave them below and I will get back to you.